you know, people don't realize like every song you do, every verse you write, every lyric, you know, to me, it's inspired by something somebody say. I could be anywhere and somebody say this, this or that. And then when I go to write that lyric, it put me in that space. So, you know, living day to day is inspiration across the board. This is song two for doing number yesterday we did, Lost Prayers. Um, this one is more of a, uh, one that will make you dance. Hopefully it's one that will inspire you and motivate you to go through some numbers. To play us with his nap time, chuck a man with a cheap kiss. Shit, right? Shit, right? Shit, right? Shit, right? Shit, Whole verse was a number less with the head toes was a free shit. Yeah. Blessings up for what's coming. What? And I ain't never ran from it. Okay. I feel like if I can make a song and people can see in their minds what's happening or see that action or and put themselves in that situation, especially, you know, with the song we shot today, doing numbers, you know, that's gonna mean whatever to you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever doing numbers is for you, you're gonna get that out of the song. That's what the music is about to be. I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't he told me he was gonna be a rapper, I ain't know what the hell to expect. But he played a couple tracks for me, you know, we was in Chicago. You know, we was on our way back to the city. He played a couple tracks for me. And I was like, man, y'all know you got some more songs than that. Like, let me hear the rest of them, because them were fire. And he started playing the rest, I'm like, damn. She'll open the door to let me in. I greet her, greet you. There's stuff bags wherever we will find a place inside to kind of put them. So when you come in, you're gonna pick up. Yeah. Um, so we are just shooting a scene in my girl's hair salon called Hair Vittori. Um, a little scene of some pickups here with two duffel bags, Lala and Miguel. So Rock played me the song and we were, that night we were actually just listening to a lot of the different tracks. And when we got to this one, I was like, you know that's a single, right? <laughs> he was like, nah, I mean, it's cool, but you know, I wasn't thinking about that one as a single. And I'm like, yeah, that's the single. Because it's, I just felt like it was one that would make people move. It's one that's catchy. You want something that makes people feel good. And you just never know when people are in the, you know, they're in their car and they just came up on, you know, they work overtime that week. They do, they feel like they're doing numbers, you know. Any little small hustle and someone's coming up in any type of way, they feel like they're doing numbers, they're gonna play this song. Please welcome our special guest tonight, Ron Hardy! You know, music is something I've always enjoyed and always had fun doing. And in all actuality, man, like I never thought about putting a project out or, or putting an album together, you know, until Kobe hit. My brother falls into a coma, um, you know, 20 plus days. When he came home, the first thing he said was just like, you know, whatever you want to do in life, do it now. You know what I mean? I was in a position where life was almost over at 33. And, you know, and in your head, you're like, that's so young, but you really never know when that time is coming. So. You know, so many people go through life working, working, doing whatever, but never actually do the things that bring joy to them or, or happiness, you know, or take a chance to do just something different. So, I mean, when he came home, told me about the story of the, what, two things he remembered from being in a coma. Like, let's go with it. Man, Rob been my man, man, since the sandbox, man. That's what a lot of people might not know. Came to LA chasing his dreams. How can you not? Can you do king shit, bro? Check that out. No days off. Turn blessings up for what's coming. Yeah, we Michael Jackson with the groove, and you can never hit these moves. Yeah. Hey, I might be judging with the move, and hey, you could never hit these moves. Yo. Maybe we can get a shot of maybe you coming in here. Um, why transition into music? Honestly, for me, man, like, you know, I've been in tons of positions where, you know, people would be like, oh, man, that's a great career, that's a great life, that's something great to do. You know, and they would hang their hat there and continue to do what they do. But, you know, for me, it's never really about What he's doing, it's encouraging the people around him to do what they want to do. 
uh, be who they want to be, be who they are. So ever since like he sent me that song and did that song with Boosie, I, I knew like he's an all go mode. In his music, he's pushing you to grow, to involve, to believe in yourself, um, to manifest your own dreams, to to be uh, a visionary, to be inspired. So all of those things were things that I would do if it was just reading a book. It's just now I'm listening to it in a song. Y'all went for a treat, man. Y'all went for a treat, you know. I just salute because it's another real nigga that done entered the industry. You know what I mean? And uh, I vouch for that wholeheartedly. My boy is solid as they come, so y'all gonna get this work. Yeah, come on. Blessings up for what's coming, and I ain't never ran from it. They can see it in my eyes, sitting back doing numbers. Calculated with the moves, yep. Michael Jackson with the groove. From the white gloves to the shoes, plus you can never do this move. Nope, I'm doing numbers. I'm doing numbers. And you can never do this move. I'm doing numbers. I'm doing numbers.